and welcome to Texas Nation TV. My name is Rusty G. I'm Alan. And it's episode number 24. Just before the end of the year, we've got our uh, last little bit of things we want to show you that we like. Yeah. Some cases, accessories, things like that. We're going to kind of throw it all in. We didn't get a chance to put it together as we wanted to, but as you can see, we've got some new stuff. So we're using it, and uh, the green screen may go somewhere. I don't know. It might turn into something. It's going to turn map. into weather. It might be a weather map. I don't know. But anyway. So one of the things uh, we want to talk about was, like I said, accessories. One of the first things, uh, you actually sent this to me a few weeks ago. Uh, Kiwi Bluetooth Android Phone Car Diagnostic Kit. That's a really big, long word for I can jack my iPhone in my car or my Android, should I say, uh, mm -hmm. and figure out what's wrong with my car because my car actually has the check engine light on now. Oh, does it? It's had it for like a month, <laughs> and I keep driving. But anyway... Uh, yeah, it's it's ninety nine dollars. It puts your Android, whatever Android that you have, so that you can see all the stuff that's going on with your car. And it's it's a basic gadget that it's not just Android. There's others out there for the iPhone. There's others for the Blackberries. I'm assuming mm -hmm. I would guess because it's just a uh, computer plugin that just brings down information to tell you what alerts are going on with your car. You know if your brakes are going out, if you're low on oil, whatever the usual diagnostic kit basically. So. Thought it was pretty cool. I think I'll get one because my car needs it, and we'll figure out what goes wrong with my car. <laughs> yeah, we, that, that could be a whole episode in itself. <laughs> anyway, moving on, what you got for us? Well, we'll talk about this uh, case that actually you sent me. Oh yeah, I remember this. So since you spent three hundred dollars or so on your iPhone, I didn't. But in case you did, <laughs> and you want to protect it in style, ElementCase.com has a case called Vapor. It's CNC machined, which is fancy word for. <laughs> Pretty much a human hands don't touch it. It's just uh, manufactured uh, specifically to fit the iPhone perfectly. Yep. And here, I don't have one. But <laughs> just as an example, it's got different grooves for your buttons, your inputs, you know, like cases like this, you try to put it in a dock and it's yeah. not going to fully charge because it's going to rock. But yeah. They take care of that, and we'll put up a shot here, but all your docks are cut out, your buttons, your volume, your power, camera. So I got everything It's out. a good case. Yeah. Uh, how much? What are we talking? 100 bucks. 100 bucks. So we're still on a 100 dollar price line. Yeah, I'm... Yeah. Because it looks like it just goes around the sides of your phone, and not so much... I mean, it's metal, but it's, I mean, you've got all this no, aluminum. There's a carbon fiber back. Oh, you have, I didn't see that before. I yeah. totally just sent this off to you, so I didn't know that. Cool, did not know that. Cool case if you um, really want to protect your investment, but. 100 bucks, can't yeah. really work with it? No. Yeah, okay. that, that's just too much. It's, it's a metal Apple bumper is basically what it is. I spent nothing for this. Well, you don't spend nothing for a lot of things. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> moving on, uh, one of the other things uh, we picked up on and saw, this is another iPhone one. Uh, this one is called the C Dock, and I don't know what the C is for. Uh, it, insert whatever you want. Don't do it. <laughs> I guess, because looking at the logo, if you put the C and the D and the lock, it, yeah, exactly. Either way, it's the C Dock. And it comes in brushed aluminum. You've got a fancy, you know, fingerprint magnet black. And you also have walnut. And it goes up in price from the black. It's fifty-five dollars for the black, sixty-five dollars for the brushed aluminum, and seventy dollars for the walnut. And it's basically one of those old school style, you know, boxes that sits on your nightstand or whatever it is. And you slide your iPhone into it. It charges and it has a special little clock face for it. So it's just another clock you know, for your iPhones, you can have something nice and pretty if you want that old school style. Um, for the price, I don't know. I mean, you found one earlier for 40, yeah. and it pretty much does the same thing, except for this does have and a class, uh, I think a plastic front on the front. It doesn't look as good as this. Yeah, plus it has those four little uh, legs to keep it up off the ground, because mm -hmm. I think the other one you showed was just laying straight down. It was just down. a dock into the device. This actually cradles. Yeah, because I mean, it's got that it's got that cover on it to keep it nice and clean. So when you slide it in, you're not having to you know worry about it. It's got that cool fifties look for all those hipsters out there. Yeah, definitely a hipster toy. So if if you didn't get one for Christmas, check it out. It's cdoc.com, and like I said, it's anywhere between fifty five dollars and seventy dollars. Check it out. And that's what I got for that. 
All right, well, it's New Year's Eve is just around the corner, and I'm sure you've been in a bar, Rusty. <laughs> a couple. And of course, you forgot your wallet, but you didn't forget your phone. We'll just have someone else buy you a beer, and with the open up, which I don't have, but we're motioning. I'm let's, demonstrating. Let's come on. <laughs> the bottle opener is built into the case. Okay. So you just slide it out. Crack it open, you're good to go. So it's kind of like uh, they had cases like this before where they added on the back mm -hmm. and they had credit cards slide out where you could slide out your card or whatever. So it's like that, a little bit thicker, obviously. Yeah, it's like that. It's a better built. There's also more bottle opening cases out there. Yeah. But this one is a got an actual metal opener integrated into the case that slides out yeah. and doesn't scratch. Okay, so it, yeah, because that's that's the other thing is anytime you're sliding, it also something. takes the pressure of opening the bottle and not crack. So you, you think it has some sort of bumper on the inside so that yeah. it doesn't hit the phone and you know crack into the glass? Yeah, it's got a cushion. Yeah. Well, we'll see. That looks cushion. pretty good. We'll push it. <laughs> I like it. So how much is it? What do we got? Uh, you get the black one or the white one, $39.95. You're a heavy drinker and a heavy talker. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sounds like a good case. Uh, I don't know if I'd get one though. That's forty bucks for a piece of metal that the bartender already has. Yeah, they always when you have your uh, legendary Sunday fun days, <laughs> you lose your bottle opener. Anyway, moving on. A uh, couple more. Uh, these two I'm going to put together. One is made by Griffin. One's made by Peel. And Griffin makes one called the Beacon. Basically, both of these devices sit on your table of choice, whatever it is, in front of your coffee table or whatever, and you can control your TV and or AV devices and or DVD, uh, cable boxes, Apple TV, Xbox, Blu-ray players, the list goes on and on for each one of these devices, and basically it turns that iPhone signal mm -hmm. into an infrared signal so that those devices can pick up. So obviously being the fact it's a computer, you can control pretty much anything because all you have to do is type in your you know, codes or whatever it may be for that remote, and it beams out to whatever device it is that you have. Like for me, I went cheap with my 5.1 surround sound system and went to Walmart. I will never do that again because it was like $149 for a device. Yeah, I still use it. It's just really cheap. Yeah. But yeah, so Griffin, it's called the Beacon, and Peel is basically just just the Peel. That's that's it. It's a little what looks like a little um, I don't know. I'm not good with fruit. Pear, I'm gonna go with. Did you say pear? I'll say pear. It looks like a little pear, and it just sits, so it's a little bit more decor-ish style, so that when you sit it out, it, does, it may look like it could be a centerpiece or something like that. Mm -hmm. So they went a little bit more with design, but you can still control TV, your you know Apple TV, your DVD players, whatever it may be. But it also works for the Android as well, whereas Griffin, I think, only works for iPhone. So if you're Android based and want to do it, you can also use the Peel. So kind of cool. But uh, check those out. Uh, I don't have a price sitting in front of me, which I should have had. I'll put a price up right now so you can see it. Peel or Griffin? Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Peel just because it gives you the option of iPhone, Android. Okay. I, I, I like Griffin. They make really great products. But I, again, I have an Android and an iPhone, so I kind of like to you know play both sides yeah. of the field, as it were, just to see. You know who's better at doing what thing. So, I would go peel. I think I think if I'm not mistaken, both are in that hundred dollar range, seventy nine, eighty nine. But like I said, I'll put the price up so you can see it. But yeah, I, I would definitely go for the peel. I think they're. Uh, I see. I've seen the peel at Best Buy, Target, and uh, I'm sure they're probably out of fries or whatever for you West Coast people. Um, but you know, I, I've seen those more often than I have the Beacon. All right. And Griffin's even here in Nashville, and you think it would be everywhere. So. What you got for us? Well, if you're like me and you're a fan of Dick Tracy, oh goodness! So we're going to we're going to go back. We're going to go back to go forward. <laughs> All right. Well, then we'll yeah. take you back again and take you even further than that. <laughs> this so, side. So if you're a fan of Dick Tracy, you probably know where I'm getting at, and you've seen a couple of these out where your watch is now your phone. Which Dick Tracy is a whole lot cooler because it's like a video. And yeah, I did all that. Whole nine yards. Yeah. But this company in Italy now has developed a watch called iMWatch, which I don't, I don't know where they're going with that. I guess it's more um, I'm 
a part of the machine. I guess I don't know. Yeah, it is a weird name. Who told you about the machine? <laughs> kind of deal. But unlike the other watches out there right now, it's a phone. Accept text messages, Facebook, Twitter, weather, pretty much everything this can do. Yeah. This watch can do. Minus a few apps, I'm sure it doesn't do uh, Joyride Jetpack or Jetpack Joyride, whatever. I'm sure if you call them, they'll look it up. <laughs> well, like I said, it's in Italy right now, and they've kind of put a teaser videos in. You can pre-order one. They start from 249 euros all the way up to 10,000 euros. 10,000 euros? I did not see that one. What does that one do? Everything. Jeez. That's, that's me taking you further. Oh, jeez. 10,000? What? I would... I'm sorry, I just he didn't tell me about that last time. I just didn't know. Well, we'll put the link up and I'll, I'll show you. But right. I'm watch .it. Yeah. Now, if you don't have ten thousand euros, which yeah. the dollar may be worth more than a euro right now, but uh, it's teetering. <laughs> <laughs> you can do what I did, okay? And get an iPod six generation, okay. now, which was again free for him. Craigslist. <laughs> You should message Rusty about Craigslist <laughs> That's another story for another time, for another show. But I got a lunatic watch band. Okay. And it, well, you can't see it from there, but, but we'll throw a picture up. When I was in San Francisco, I remember that new update was 16 new watch faces yeah. for the uh, iPod Nano. So just go that route. I can still get my iTunes, and if you're into that Nike fitness thing, Bluetooth headset. The, yeah, it's got that. Then they have a pedometer built shoot, in and all pedometer, that. Pedometer, timer, photos, iTunes. Yeah. Music doesn't have video. Now, well, who's gonna be sitting there doing this? You know. I know it'd be pretty cool. Well, I'm just saying you wouldn't sit there long enough for an episode of. It depends. Whatever. What, it depends what bus I'm sitting on, waiting or something. <laughs> but um, I would go this route. What What mine cost was a free trade on Craigslist. And the lunatic in the Apple Store ranges up to about eighty bucks. Yeah, depending on which one you get. I got mine on eBay for twenty. Five. You're a dirt bag. Anyway. So sh <laughs> shop around. <laughs> but um, keep a lookout on all these new watch integrations that are coming along. Yeah, if our our local area has been broadcasting this commercial for a watch phone for kids, so I can see where that's going. You know, you're going to end up having, you know, an iPod Nano-ish style for iPhone. You know, on your wrist, yeah. All you need is a Bluetooth headset because it'll tell you. You'll soon, Siri soon the chip will be in. Yeah, the contact will be in. Siri will be in your ear telling you which way to go, and you tell her what to text, and she'll be your assistant. And all you'll need is your watch. So, but yeah, I, I agree with you. I see it going that way. So, but that was the end of all of our accessories. We want to tell we tell you about. But the one thing we did want to talk about for the end of the year and for the last episode of this year. Uh, iPhone 5.01 was jailbroken just recently. If you haven't checked it out, you can check it out on, Green, I think it's through Green Poison and Red Snow are the two applications that do it. And the cool thing about it is, mm -hmm. just recently, a few weeks before that, Siri code was released by Apple legally, and it, now they don't have to do the workaround, so yeah. now they have a new program called Spire that will download Siri to any jailbroken iPhone 4. So this is cool. So what we're going to do real quick, it's going to be about five minutes, and we're going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4, and we're going to actually do him live, take care of it right here so you can see it, and you can watch how an iPhone 4 is jailbroken with, I guess, the Mac, because you can't really do it on PC, correct? Because you are Mac formatted for yes. your phone. So we'll do it that way. So make sure you follow us online. Watch the video afterwards. We're on YouTube.com slash TV, Twitter.com slash TV. Textation.tv, and I'm missing one. I know I'm missing one. YouTube, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Facebook, that's what it was. Face <laughs> Facebook.com slash TV. And just recently, I added this in. If you're on Google+, Plus, you may have already seen it. It's Google+, Plus. search TextNationTV. I don't, think they, Google Plus? I don't think they have a plus.google slash whatever. I think you just got to search for TextNationTV, but we're there. Check it out, and now on to the video.